So in this video, I'll show you how I connect my S-Bar D2 heater up to shore power through the Victron Blue Smart Charger. So what I've got is the S-Bar D2 heater. I've got it running right now. I'm actually parked at home. It's running as you can hear. I'm parked at home right now on my driveway and I've run an extension cord out to my van and it's connected to my Victron Blue Smart Charger. It's a 12 volt version, 15 amp. And what I find that with the S-Bar D2 heater, the operating range is between 10.5 volts and 16 volts max. So this thing here will actually let you operate from 12.8 volts all the way up to, let's see, Right now it's running, let me check my Victron Connect. It's running at 14.8 volts. So that's within the range of 10.5 and 16 volts. So what I do is I have an extension cord running from my garage all along the driveway. I hook it up and this is connected to my starter battery. And actually my D2 heater is also connected to my starter battery. I don't have, well I have a Gold Zero Yeti 1000 lithium battery, but I don't have the S-Bar D2 heater connected to that. It's just the starter battery. So what you can do with this setup is run your S-Bar heater for as long as you want until your diesel runs out or your... Um, you're on your way to another trip. So as you've seen in my previous videos, the D2 heater is installed in the cage below the Yeti. Yeah, it's currently running and um, that works. So this is a really good setup. So if you're on shore power or have availability of shore power, you can connect up a battery charger, 12 volts, to your starter battery, which is charging right now as well. And that's also supplying power to my uh, SBAR D2. So the nice thing is, what else can we do here? I've got an Orion Smart, which is a DC to DC charger, which I use to charge my Yeti 1000. And you can see how many volts are going into the actual battery right now. So it's 14.0 volts going into my starter battery. So with this knowledge, what you can also do is disconnect shore power. So let me do that. And you can actually connect this up to the Yeti. So let's say you're camping somewhere and you have battery power um, and you want to run your D2 heater for a little bit longer, or you've run low on your starter battery, what you can do, and I'll demonstrate right now, is unplug from the garage shore power. And I'll take this, which is connected to my Victron IP65 charger, and I'll plug this in into the Yeti. That's powered on. So let's go over now, over to the Victron app. Take a look. This thing's flashing. It's in float mode right now, which means it's pretty much fully charged. Almost fully charged. And there you go. So this is pulling out 230 watts right now. Let me, well, it includes the light that I've got currently connected and my Milwaukee charger. But if I need to charge my starter battery as well, I can do it from here. So I'm not stuck. So hopefully this gives you a couple good ideas on how to pretty much indefinitely run your S-Bar heater offshore power. And also how to charge your car battery that helped um, press the like button and if you haven't already subscribed please press the subscribe button the notification bell and you'll be notified of any other good videos that I put out all right thanks for watching appreciate it. take care have a great day guys bye bye